おはようございます So yeah, we all know the typical setting of a zombie apocalypse. But what if I told you that this setting is basically considered a paradise to someone? Meet Akira Tendo, a 24-year-old corporate slave who is constantly stuck in his desk for almost 24 hours, barely going back home, laying dead in trash and garbage thinking, damn, I really don't want to go back to work whenever he is at home. Akira is basically the living embodiment of all our nightmares when we think of an office job that sole purpose is to produce an ungodly amount of stress on a person. Now you might be wondering, what could possibly save Akira from this tortured hell he calls a life? That's right, you guessed it, waking up to a world full of zombies with him reacting to an apocalypse like any other person. Aw oh, shit, I'm going to be late for work. But after getting chased by these zombies across a hallway, reality finally kicks in, making him realize what kind of situation he's in. A situation where he doesn't have to go to work anymore. I shit you not, this is how he reacts to his position, in pure joy and excitement about never going back to the office, which I'm sure is something a lot of middle-aged adults are thinking right now. Finally, Akira is filled with hopes and dreams again about living his life despite being surrounded with zombies, and so he creates a bucket list of the dead, which honestly doesn't really make sense the more you think about it, the title just doesn't make sense because he's not dead, the zombies are. But I guess we're just gonna roll with it. Now, I'm sure you've seen your fair share of zombie animes and zombie movies that is basically a parody of a genre, but what sets Zom 100 aside from all those is that the series is fully aware of how played out the zombie genre has become and plays with it. I mean, the first few pages literally opens up with Akira watching a zombie movie, asking to trade places with the protagonist of the film. And pretty much every generic zombie trope that does get used in this series is played for laughs because all these characters are fully aware of the tropes that they are in. I think the best way to describe Zom 100 is that it's less of a zombie anime and more of an anime that has zombie elements in it. Because the author somehow finds a way to tell stories about our main characters without all the melodrama of zombies and their stakes. Like having Akira worry about the most essential thing in the apocalypse. Getting drunk out of his mind with some good old booze, yeah. While another main character, Mikazuki, is literally living the gamer grind set of surviving this nightmare world. Now earlier I mentioned Akira making a bucket list of the dead, some of which include confessing to his now already zombified crush at work, very teary stuff, becoming a superhero, very heroic stuff, getting his life together by actually cleaning his room, unlike every reddit mod, riding one of the most badass motorcycles I've ever seen in a manga and an RV, even being able to meet up with his childhood friend who by the way is an absolute bro true and true for Akira. Hint, we'll be seeing zombie boobs in his introduction, very good stuff. And if that sounds exciting to you, then you should definitely give Zom 100 a try. <laughs>